He is one of the most decorated gymnasts in Olympic history with seven medals and the first U.S. gymnast to ever win back-to-back -back world all-around titles. Shannon Miller is also a cancer survivor who has been openly talking about her battle with the disease in an effort to help others going through the same thing. Shannon joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. So what do you say to people? You're not alone. That is, I think, the biggest thing that I can tell someone, because I think when you're going through, when you hear those words, it's cancer. It is such a shocking moment and your world just stops. And a lot of times you feel like you need to handle this all by yourself and you don't want to complain and you don't want to burden anyone else, but you are not alone. There are so many people out there, not just your medical team, but with supportive care that are willing and able to help. Talk about your diagnosis. It was in 2011 from what I'm reading, and we remember you from the 90s in your gymnastics career. Uh, talk about your health and how you found out. Uh, my doctor found initially a baseball-sized cyst on my left ovary in the fall of 2010, and that sent me into this whirlwind of tests and scans. And in January of 2011, I woke up from surgery to hear the words, it's ovarian cancer. Yeah but they had caught it early and and for me it, it was the next step was an aggressive chemotherapy regimen and i think at that time i went from kind of handling all of the or at least trying to handle the mental and the psychological uh, concerns and anxiety to adding on the physical issues of actually going through chemotherapy which I would say is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Just that first week, by the end of the first week with the GI issues that I was facing, I was back in the hospital, um, hooked up to an IV. And that's why I say supportive care is so important to know what your options are and to know that there's so many more options these days than there were 12 years ago. Right. And are there lessons in, in the preparation it takes of being an Olympic athlete that may help you get through something like that? There really are. I think sports teaches you so many great life lessons and you don't have to wear a leotard or be an Olympian to learn those lessons. It's goal setting and teamwork and positive mindset. It's resiliency. And, and those are the things I had to tap into uh, during chemotherapy, along with uh, really a significant focus on teamwork and, and how I needed to not only um, surround myself with this incredible team, but to be willing to ask for help. Gosh, I remember those Olympics. It was amazing. It was you, Carrie Strug, Dominic Mucciano. Uh, Dominic. It was just an amazing team. Are your memories from those days, you were such uh, competing at such a high level. Are your memories of those days good? They are. You know, I, I have such wonderful memories from that time. And, you know, when you get to when you get to my age, <laughs> you look back and it's not about the medals and it's not about the, the hit routines. It's about the friendships and the bonds that, that you create and those life lessons that you learn because you realize that you utilize those in every facet of life. And, and I'm so thankful. And actually, my, my team was there uh, with me. Uh, on the night before I started chemotherapy. Wow. And that was so special to me. And it just reminded me again that you just, you need that supportive care. And so I'm, I'm very excited to talk about some of the things that, that we have these days that I didn't have back then. And that were available, not... things like the Interade Oncology Drink and, and things that people can utilize now. And people, for people who don't know, you went on to get your bachelor's degree and your law degree after doing all of that. It just, your competitiveness just continues. <laughs> <laughs> well, and now I would say that my competitiveness has switched gears over into just advocating for a focus on health and wellness and, and really a focus on cancer, obviously with what I've been through personally, but I'm also um, a daughter of a survivor. I'm a friend of a survivor. So to all of not only the patients out there going through these treatments and looking for supportive care options, um, also to the caregivers and those that, that know people going through that, I hope that you'll reach out and, and maybe go to somewhere like NRA.com, get information about all of those great things that are out there today that you can utilize for some of these GI issues. And I think that's so important because it's the GI issues that, that rob us of that quality of life. They can get us mm -hmm. off track on our treatments. And when we feel better, we can fight cancer harder. Well, you can check out more at ShannonMiller.com or check out our social media. Shannon, thanks for joining us. Best to you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.